balancing this equation. So let us use the redox method that to half reaction method. Half reaction method means there will be oxidation half and the reduction half. What will be happening in the oxidation half? In the oxidation half, loss of electron. And in the reduction half, what will be happening in the reduction half? Reduction half, that will be gain of electrons. Here, what we have to do? First, I am writing the equation, whatever the things we need. Here, in this K2SO4 is like a byproduct, we will not be considering this. Other than that, we will be considering Fe. Here, Fe in what oxidation state? See here, Fe is bonded with COO minus COO minus. That is, this is bonded with Fe. Here, Fe is having 2 plus oxidation state because it is having 2 minus. Fe is in 2 plus oxidation state. Here, Fe SO4 thrice. So, Fe is in what oxidation state? It is plus 3 oxidation state. Here, KMNO4. K, K is plus 1 means MNO4 whole will be minus. Then here, MNSO4. Here, MN will be in plus 2 oxidation state and SO4 is there. Now, considering the oxidation half, see here what happens. Fe C2O4 gives here. This one is Fe3 plus oxidation state plus the C2O4. What happens to C2O4? It becomes CO2. Now, how many electrons are lost? See here, you have two electrons, two minus here, two electrons. And then from Fe2 plus here, Fe plus 2, 2, here Fe3 plus, how many electrons lost? One electron. So, totally how many electrons? Three electrons are lost. See here, the C2O4 minus becomes CO2. This is neutral charge. Here it is 2 minus. So, 2 electrons are lost and here 1 electron is lost. Totally 3 electrons lost. Now, going to the reduction half, that is MnO4. MnO4 minus, it becomes what? Mn. 2 plus, that is the oxidation state of Mn is 2 plus here. What is the oxidation state here? X plus 4 into minus 2. We know the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2, which is minus 1. So, totally X will be plus 7. Here, from plus 7 oxidation to state 2, it becomes plus 2 oxidation state. What happens here? There is a gain of how many electrons? There is gain of 5 electrons. So, there is gain of 5 electrons. Here, see, while balancing this, you have 2K here and you have 1K here. What you have to do? You have to put 2 here. 2 means that will be 2 MnO4. So, here it is 2. Here it is 2 means here also 2. So, how many electrons now? 2 into 5 into 2 will be 10 electrons will be gained. And in this case, 4 to are 8 electrons. For 8 oxygen, you have to put 8 water molecule. That means 8 oxygen in the left hand side, it is balanced with 8 oxygen. Now, how many hydrogens are there? 8 to are 16. 16 H plus are there. So, when you are calculating, when you are balancing all these, it will be nullified. What happens here? Here it is. How many electrons here? 10 electrons. Because for 1 MnO4, 2 Mn2 plus 5 electrons, you have 2. So, it will be, it will be a 10 electrons. Now, you have to sum up. Oxidation half and reduction half. See how many electrons here? 3 electrons. Here how many electrons here? 10 electrons. So, to equalize it, you have to multiply this by 10 and this by the whole equation by 3. 
Now what happens? 10, 10 Fe C2O4 gives here 10 Fe3 plus plus 10 CO2 plus sorry 10 CO2 plus 30 electrons. Now multiplying this what happens? 6, 6 MnO4 minus plus 10 into 3 will be 30 electrons plus 16 into 3 will be 48 H plus and what is in the right hand side 3 into 2 will be 6 Mn2 plus and 8 3 is a 24 H2O while summing the power then what you will be getting So, this 30 electrons and 30 electrons nullified. Now, we will be getting what? 10 FeC2O4 plus 6 MnO4 minus plus 48 H plus gives what is this? 10 Fe. 3 plus plus here so here a mistake this is CO2 here it will be 2 CO2 so here it will be 20 CO2 20 CO2 see here C2O4 means COO minus COO minus so this becomes one CO2 and this becomes another CO2. So, here you will be getting 2 CO2. 2 into 10 will be 20. 20 CO2 plus 6 Mn2 plus plus 24 H2O. Now, balancing the equation. See, comparing this. Here you have 10 Fe2O4 and it is here you have 10 Fe2C2O4. Here, 6 KMnO4. So, what we are doing here, see. 10 FeC2O4 plus here 6 so KMnO4 we are putting 6 KMnO4 plus you here you have 48 H plus here we need H2SO4 right so SO4 will be here you have 48 H plus it is H2SO4 so what that means SO4 is 2 minus and you have 1 H, the 2 H plus for 1 SO4 minus. So, that will be 24 H2 SO4. So, you now this is 24 into 2 will be 48 H plus ions. This is SO4. You have 24 SO4, 2 minus ions. So, totally this is 48 plus and this is also 24 into 2, 48 minus. What you have to do in this case of H plus, you have to put 24 H2SO4. Again, in the case of 10 Fe3 plus, here see you have to balance this 2 and 3. Here Fe, you, that means for 3S, 3SO4, you need 2 Fe. That is 5 Fe2, totally 10. SO4 thrice. 10Fe3 plus. 10Fe3 plus, how we are writing it? See, 5 Fe2 SO4 thrice. Plus 20 CO2 plus 6 Mn SO4 plus 24 H2O. So, already we said this K2SO4 is like a, this is not involved in the transfer of electrons. So, you have to balance this K2 alone. How much K? Here you have 6K. So, you will be putting 3. Now, compare the equation. 
10 Fe and you have 5 2s are 10 Fe. Then 10 C2O4, that means what? 10 2s are 20 carbon, here 20 carbon. Then 10 4s are 40. Here 20 into 2, 40 carbons. K, you have 6K and here you have 3 into 2, 6K. Then Mn, you have how much Mn? 6 Mn. Here also you have 6 Mn. Then O4. 6 4s are 24 O. Here 24 O. That got satisfied. Then coming to hydrogen. 24 into 2, 48 hydrogen. See how many hydrogen are there? 24 into 2, 48 hydrogen. Then coming to SO4. How many SO4 here? 24 SO4. Here how much? 3 into 5 is 15. Plus 6 plus So, 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 plus 3 will be 24. 24 MnSO4. So, this is the way to calculate the balance this equation.